Hey there, this is Heidi from Create with Heidi, and today I'm going to show you how to make a window decal for Day of the Dead. To begin this project, I'm removing the film off the top of each of the 12 by 12 sheets of tech wrap vinyl that I'm using for this project. After I finish removing that top layer, I'm going to use my paper trimmer and I'm going to cut all of my pieces of vinyl down to the size that I need them to be for this project. I know that a lot of people like to put their whole sheet of vinyl on their cutting mat when they are cutting out what they're using and I think that's totally fine. That's just not my preference and so that's why I cut everything down to size before I get started. I also keep all of the scraps for use with smaller projects in the future. The last thing that I do before I begin cutting my vinyl is cut my transfer tape down to the size that I need it to be as well. I like getting all of my materials ready before I begin cutting so that when I'm finished cutting, everything's ready to go. The tools that I'm going to be using for this project are the weeding pen, the tweezers, and the squeegee, which has the perfect amount of flex to it. Okay, it's time to start cutting my vinyl. The first thing I need to do is remove the plastic protectant from the cutting mat and then apply the vinyl to the standard tack cutting mat. I also use a brayer to help ensure that the vinyl is securely adhered to the mat so that it doesn't shift during cutting. When I remove vinyl from the cutting mat, I always flip the mat over and roll it away from the vinyl. What this does is it prevents the vinyl from curling or creating air bubbles between the carrier sheet and the vinyl. Please sit tight for just a minute while I finish cutting out all of my sheets of vinyl. My next step in this project is to weed all of my sheets of vinyl. I'm going to primarily be using my weeding pen. I use my tweezers once or twice in this project. They can totally be used interchangeably. I just grabbed the first thing that was available. <laughs> On this yellow sheet, if you look closely, you can see a few air bubbles. I used my brayer later on to get those air bubbles out and it worked beautifully. I'm going to use this blue layer of vinyl to show you some of the intricate weeding and I'm going to do it at a normal speed and then the rest of the layers will be sped up just for the sake of time. One thing that I want to point out is you may see a time or two where my vinyl sticks a little bit when I'm trying to weed it out. My machine has been having a little bit of trouble lately with cutting at the right depth, so I just want to ensure you that the vinyl is not the issue, it's a cutting machine issue.
Okay, on to what I feel is the most exciting step and that is putting all of the layers together. I'm using a backlight to make sure that everything gets lined up perfectly because I really want the layers to be exactly where they're supposed to be. That brown paper is a piece of butcher paper that I've used to be able to move things around and make sure everything gets lined up since the transfer tape is sticky and I can do it without the butcher paper. I also used a couple of the weeded out pieces of vinyl to keep it in place while I got everything lined up. I use my squeegee just a few times over each layer so that I can make sure that they all adhere together well. The first layer is now done and I'm going to continue on with the rest of the layers. Stand by. Right here what you can see me doing is pulling the transfer tape off the vinyl. The reason why is because I forgot to put the black eyes and nose on. You can see that when I did that it created some bubbles in the orange part of the eyes. It's not a concern because later on when I put it on the window those bubbles will get pushed out so I'm just working over top of it. Now what I'm doing is I am cutting a little bit of yellow edge off that one side. When I put the layers together, they ended up getting off just a little bit and so just a little sliver of yellow is showing and I didn't want that. So that's what I'm working on right there. And then once that's all cut off, the sugar skull is finished and ready to go on my window. Before putting it on the window, I'm going over it just a couple more times with the squeegee to make sure all the layers are sticking together super well. Okay, now it's time to put it on the window. The first thing I need to do is make sure that the window is super clean so that it sticks really well to the window. Then I'm going to peel the backing off and line it up where I want it to be on my window. I'm gonna rub over it with my hand and then use my squeegee a couple times. And then I'm going to peel off that transfer sheet and it's done. Also, don't mind my dog trying to break through the window in the background. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.